Hi there, my name is Colette Strasberg, and today I'm going to be reading If There Was Any Justice by Alice Walker. If there was any justice in the world, I'd own Van Gogh's starry night, not the tall, linear one I have always coveted, but the wide, horizontal one on which the paint is desperate praise. It would hang over the headboard of my bed so that every night before falling asleep, I could look at it and then above it through the skylight at the heavens. If there was any justice in the world, I could have saved up for it and bought it for the cost of a fancy dress or a modest house. Vincent would have wanted me to have it, of this I have no doubt. How he would smile to see how every night I journeyed through the cosmos on the wings of his brush my dreadlocks connecting canvas to moon. He probably would have given me the painting if we had been neighbors, friends, or barroom aficionados, and I had offered him a watermelon or homemade wine. If there was any justice in the world, I'd also have that last painting he did of the reaper and the wide field of wheat and the crows. I'd have the sunflowers, all of them, of course. Whoever has the poor taste to hoard them could keep the ugly portraits of Madame Hussis and Dr. Wutzis, but there are a couple of garden scenes I would also take. Vincent, knowing I value flowers in orderly disarray, would have wanted them to be mine. If we had met in the presence of these paintings, he couldn't have missed the wonder, the reverence, the stark recognition of shared life in my eyes my delight in him, spirit, eye, and hand. As the world rushes madly to its end and one imagines the starry night, lonely as Vincent himself, in its vault, bursting suddenly into flame like a bit of star or a bit of rubbish, and the same tired assassins whose blindness drove him insane, seeking at last to destroy all the beauty beyond the vault, that he labored so to make them see and seen save.